It's a 45,000 square foot animation and live action special effects mega complex and it's right here in Canada. Now we head to Stars Animation Studios to find out what's got Hollywood talking. Here we are at Stars Animation Toronto. My name is David Steinberg, I'm the head of this place and I have a magic wand to get in. Come on, let me show you around. Follow me. So this is the latest computer animation studio in Canada. We've got about 165 artists uh, here right now. We're growing. In a couple years, we're going to be up at about 300. Stars Animation is part of Stars Media, which also owns Film Roman. So in the States, our company did the Simpsons movie. Uh, we do all the Simpsons shows and King of the Hill. Just about all the artists we have are Canadian. Um, most of them are coming out of local schools like Sheridan and Seneca and, you know, just amazing talent in this city. Oops, it might hurt me again. So this is the best part of an animation studio, is nobody's safe. We got a wall of shame here, everybody's caricatures. Be careful if you walk through this place, because we might just get you. So the other thing that I want to show you guys is uh, this movie that's coming out from Universal called Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. VeggieTales has been a hugely popular DVD series, and now we're bringing it to the big screen. Hey, come look right over here. See this guy? That's Robert the Pirate. Now, I want to take you and show you a sneak peek of how we build a character as cool as that and how we actually create the animation all the way through final color of what you're going to see on the movie screen. So here we are at the art department. This is where it all starts. We got all the design work, all the look and feel coming out of this place. Every costume the character wears, every pose that needs to be designed, every fold and fabric, every facial expression, every way the hair has to go, we'll design all that stuff. For something like this, it's a film that's designed. We can't just slap rust on it. We have to design what rust looks like in this world. And then there's this guy, Robert the Pirate. You know, we do a turnaround, draw him from every angle so they know how to build him. These guys draw with like pencil and paper. Remember those? After you guys do the initial designs, let's go see how we build them. Ian McClucky is our head of modeling and rigging over here. What he does is take, hey, remember this? That was Robert the Pirate who we just saw before. He takes these drawings and builds them inside the computer. So he basically turns it into a sculpture, a 3D sculpture in the computer. He can turn it around like that, and he adds a skeleton inside. And then he can grab pieces of the skeleton and move it around just like a puppet. And make him, uh, make him do a little dance. Get down, Robert. Now if you turn around, we got Ozzy Osbourne working, I'm sorry, Dave Batchelor yeah. working here. What Dave does is he takes what Ian built and he adds all the final color and texture to it. Our modeling guys don't get out much. Come this way, I'm gonna show you how we set up a shot to go into the final film. This is Paul Kohut, he's an animation director here at Stars Animation. This is our storyboard which looks something like this. When the sand runs out, so do the prince and princess. Oftentimes we'll act it out or, or film ourselves acting it out to get some ideas of where we want to take the shot. The beauty of, of the software is that it interpolates what's happening between point A and point B. So rather than draw a whole bunch of pictures as you would in, in 2D animation, the software is doing that for us. When the sand runs out, so do the prince and princess. So here's where it all comes together. The shot we've been following through the system comes to Anna Wagner over here, who's our lead lighter. She basically has a virtual sound stage in her computer where she can control lights. Once we have the lights all set up, we go to a guy like Brian Cooper over here, who's going to be compositing all of these elements together into the final shot. So now you've seen how all the pieces come together to make the animation shot. Now let me show you how it looks in the final film on screen. Have a seat. When the sand runs out, so do the prince and princess. Right now, we are working on the coolest new project. It's called Nine. It's a Tim Burton produced project, and it's directed by the most amazing guy named Shane Acker. Oh, Shane Hello. Acker. Shane, what are you doing here? Oh, I just showed up. I want to check in, drop in, see how everything's going, <laughs> make sure you guys are working. <laughs> <laughs> and how's the work going so far? It looks great. It's amazing, yeah. It's a, it's a real pleasure to be up here and working with artists, going from script to then storyboard, and now seeing the fruits of the labor and seeing some of the amazing stuff being realized in 3D. It's really exciting. Like every day there's something new and you get really excited about it. So. <laughs> I start tearing up yeah. thinking about it. <laughs>
So that's it, your tour of Stars Animation Toronto, the country's newest, coolest, state-of-the-art animation studio. Oh man, look at that, I gotta get back to work. Thanks for coming, guys.